Today's video is about word problems, and I know that's a really exciting topic for everyone that's watching this. You love to hear the word, word problems, right? At the end of your math lessons, you always get four to six problems, and sometimes you just guess on them. But I'm gonna show you a really easy strategy to solve these problems. And you can use this strategy on many, many problems. I'm gonna read one to you that I made up about my Legos, okay? One of my random collections in my house. And I have a lot more I'll show you later. Ian, Max, and Sid are collecting Lego minifigs. Max even has some cool clone troopers. Max has three times as many as Ian, and Sid has twice as many as Max. Sid was nice and shared three with his little brother. If Max has 27, how many do they have together? That was easy, right? No, that sounds really confusing. And after you read it, you just go, oh, whatever, I'll just guess on this. But you can solve this really easily with what I call a unit math strategy. That's what we call it in our books, but it really is a Singapore math strategy. It comes from the way Singapore uses math and how they use the unit math to solve these more difficult problems. If your parents saw this and had already graduated from college, they'd probably want to apply algebra to this. And it is, it can be made into an algebra equation, an algebraic equation, except for fourth and fifth graders haven't had algebra yet. You've just been introduced to algebra. And so this is a really, uh, I'm gonna show you on paper how I would solve this and you're gonna see how easy it is and then we'll do one together. Okay, here's that math problem. And the first thing I'm gonna do is try to get rid of any unnecessary information in here. Obviously you see that, you know, Max has some cool clone troopers isn't important. So you can cross that out. And then you might wanna highlight some of the things that are really important. Of course, you know that Max has three times as many as Ian and that Sid has twice the number of Max. So those are really important things. And when it says Sid was nice and shared three with his little brother, that may sound like it's unimportant information, but it actually means that Sid has three less now. So it is an important part of the problem. And the end is problem, pr very important too because you want to you know, know how much one of them has so you can figure out what the unit will be. And then how many they have all together would be the final question. And you can do that really quickly within under, a, under 30 seconds you can highlight that. I'm next going to go ahead and write my units. I just put a first letter if I can. There's Ian, there's Max, and there's Sid. I know that this is Ian's unit. He has one because Max has three times as many as Ian. So if Ian's one, Max is three, and then Sid has twice as many as Max. So Sid has two times three, which means Sid has six units. And the information I've been given in this problem is that Max total is 27. So I know if I divide that number by three units, that's gonna give me the number of each unit. Now I know that each unit is nine. I also know that Ian has nine, and I know that Sid has nine because he has six times more, but he did give three to his little brother. So I'm gonna subtract three from his total before I add all of these together. Now, you can add it really easily because you can multiply. I could take the nine and count up how many units I have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's 90 minus three. Together they have 87 and label it minifigs. 
That's the answer to the problem. Let me give you I one more. I want you to think about the necessary information and automatically just sort of discard the unnecessary information as you, as you listen. Larry, Penny, and Patty collect antique bottles. Larry likes the old jugs. Penny has quadruple the amount of bottles that Patty has, while Larry has three times more than Penny. Patty likes old soda bottles. If they have 187 bottles together, how many does Penny have? All right, so I'm gonna let you look at the problem here and we're gonna draw it out using the Singapore math strategy or what we call the unit math strategy. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is just highlight important information, cross out unimportant information, and the first thing I see again is Larry, Penny, and Patty collect antique bottles. Larry likes old jugs. This is very unnecessary. Let's just cross that out. Penny has quadruple, that's important, the amount of bottles that Patty has, while Larry has three times as many, that's important. Patty likes old soda bottles, unnecessary information. If they have 187 together, how many does Penny have? So I'm looking for Penny's amount. Then I'm gonna just go over here and I'm gonna write again. Let's write an L for Larry. Let's write a PE for Penny and a PA for Patty. I'm going to first recognize that Patty has the least amount. She only has the one unit. She has the one unit because Penny has four times the amount of her. So I'm gonna give Penny four of the units. And Larry has twice as many. Oh, sorry, Ooh, go back. Three times as many, I almost made a careless error. So Larry has actually 12 units. And one of the things you could do instead of the blocks or the units, you could add just dashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and one more for 12. Now, what we do is we simply add up all that because we know that together they have 187 bottles. So we have to add all of these. We have 12 plus four is 16, one is 17. And we have to divide this amount by 17 to find out what each of these units is worth. 17 goes in at one time, we've got 11. So we fill in these units with 11. Now we can easily say how many does Penny have? She has 44. Does it matter how many Larry has? No. Does it matter how many Patty has? No, because the question is, how many bottles does Penny have? Remember to label, label your answer. 44 bottles. I hope everybody learned something new today about solving complicated math problems that aren't really that complicated. I hope everybody has a good day. I miss you all. Bye.